tools like GitHub Copilot, Cursor and others are changing how we write code, but just switching from your IDE to AI powered one is not enough. Are you sometimes tired of explaining the same task over and over again? And the AI model repeats itself for the third time? In this video I will cover 5 most common mistakes when coding with AI and show you practical strategies how to use AI tools like a pro. First mistake is about debugging and code fixing. When you occur an error in code, you probably want AI to help you fix it. So what you need to do is to copy the error and paste it into the chat, right? Please don't do this like that. You will waste a lot of time trying to give AI the right context. What you should do instead is a simple script that will allow you to save all the logs to the file instead of terminal. If you don't know how to do it, simply ask AI to do it for you. Now, when you occur an error, you can simply add the log file to the chat context. But that's not all. Instead of copying warnings and errors show directly in your IDE, you can use tools like MyPy for Python or NPX WorldCheck or any other equivalent for your specific language to save all those inconsistencies into the log file that again can be used directly in a chat. In such way, you are not only saving your time, but also increase the context for your AI assistant. Okay, let's move on to the mistake number two. There is nothing worse than AI generating code that looks completely different from the rest of your application. Different libraries in every file, comments and logs are inconsistent, different file structure in each module, and any other thing. And all of this is because the AI doesn't know your coding standards. So tip number two, embed your standards. Tools like Cursor, Windsurf and GitHub Copilot allow you to configure settings and include specific files that outline your coding style, tech stack or coding guideline. Take a few minutes to set this up properly. I promise you, you will spend less time fixing after AI and more time focusing on the logic. It makes the AI feel like part of your team. If you don't know how to set them properly, I left links to the documentation and awesome Windsurf rules repo in the video description. There are a lot of example rules for most tech stacks, but you can also use them for inspiration to creating your own. Third mistake is especially painful when you're creating a new application. AI models do not magically know what your project idea is or business goals are, simply because at the beginning of the development, they are mostly in your head. Even if you give it the whole code base, if it is not finished yet, it might be hard to understand the purpose of it. That's when the inconsistencies in modules shows up. Which takes us to the tip number three. Give the AI rich context. Create simple document that explain the overall purpose of your application, a brief description of key modules or services and what they should do, and optionally even diagrams like Mermite charts where you can show all the dependencies. Many tools allow you to include those files in the AI context window, same as coding standards from the tip number two. When the AI understands why it's writing a code and how it fits into the bigger picture, the quality and relevance of its suggestions improve dramatically. It prevents it from making silly mistakes or suggesting things that conflict with other parts of your application. When you give AI clear context of your app, it can handle building entire features very well, especially in the early stages of the project when the architecture isn't even outlined yet. But the farther into the project, the worse AI handles integrations and the mistakes number four begins. You are improving the same prompt many times, but it is just not work at all. And the AI repeats the same mistake over and over again, because when the code base is too big, it is hard to give specific instructions. It's a common mistake when a developer forgets that he is still behind the wheel and although the IDE is smarter now, he still has to make important decisions. That is what tip number four is all about. Be the architect and let the AI fill the gaps. Start designing the structure, leave the comments, and then let the AI handle the implementation details. In most cases, you probably already know what you want to implement in the code. You simply don't want to write it all. Of course, AI models get better every day and can handle more and more of your work, but giving the same prompt for the third time simply slows you down. Make a little more effort and write the harder part by your own. This keeps you in the control while leveraging the AI for speed on more repetitive parts. And finally, the most important mistake of all. AI models can still hallucinate sometimes. It can introduce subtle bugs, security gaps, 
and also sometimes AI just simply write inefficient logic that will slow down your application, which is even harder to detect. I have seen too many stories where programming with AI ended up losing several hours of previous development due to lack of version control. That is why tip number 5 is review and commit. Always review the code generated by AI. You need to understand what it does and why. Just test it. Does it actually solve the problem correctly? Is it safe? And just as important, commit your verified changes frequently. Get your working code safely into the version control before you ask the AI to make another big change or refactor. This prevents the AI from messing up your code you have already confirmed that is good. So there you have it. Those are my five must know tips for coding with AI in 2025. Remember, those AI tools are getting better every day, but you are still in a control as a developer. So use AI tools wisely and don't try to implement too much AI into your work routine at once. You might end up with the extra work instead. If you found those tips helpful, hit that like button. And if you want more content on the development AI and tech trends, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. What AI coding tools are you using? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, keep building amazing things and I will see you in the next one.